Students and staff members from RIT's National Technical Institute for the Deaf, along with community members, are hard at work rehearsing for a special production of Hairspray. Time Warner Cable News reporter Tara Grimes attended a rehearsal to learn what it entails. She joins us now from the newsroom to tell us how this production is set up and what the crew hopes will come out of it. Tara? Alex, the way the show works is that all the roles are doubled with a deaf and a hearing person playing each role. They kind of work together to figure out how they want to present that role. And then the deaf actor presents it just as you would kind of expect with the hearing person acting as basically their guardian angel. And while they tell me they hope it's going to be and that it is a fun experience, they would like the audience to learn something as well. When these actors and actresses step into the spotlight, they're learning from each other. And the hearing cast says they are definitely discovering more about the deaf community. That is all levels, all talents, different lifestyle, different actors, different countries. It's almost a mini model for what happens globally. We have to cross over. We have to be able to become bridge people, everybody, so that we can function with other cultures, other countries, other uh, ways of thinking. Now they're hoping to pass that experience on to the audience. Danica Zelinsky has an understanding of what it's like to live both lives. She became hard of hearing after falling severely ill at the age of 19. Now 22, she is happy to have theater be a consistent part of her life, and for the first time she is playing the lead role. I really hope that people, they look and they realize that we're all different, yes, but we all can just work together in this world, this environment. Others echo that same attitude. I hope they go home realizing that, you know, everyone, no matter what, if they're deaf, hearing, gay, straight, black, white, we're all the same and that prejudices shouldn't really bar us from getting to know each other and interacting with. And overall, they of course just want the audience to have fun. I just hope everyone just comes and sees the hard work that everyone has been working for the, the last few months because it's going to be an amazing experience for everyone in the audience. The show will take place April 24th through May 3rd, and for a complete list of those times and dates, you can visit our website at twcnews.com. Alex. Time Warner Cable News reporter Tara Grimes from our newsroom.